Hello, friends. How's everyone doing today? <laughs> Technical difficulties. No, it's just me, Orca. Just me. Yeah, it must be Christmas. We get extra days together, guys. It feels good. I hope everyone is doing good. Yesterday was really nice. We did the last bit of deer. So we did Zach's last bag there. We did some more bacon cheeseburger deer patties and breakfast ones for him. So finally, finally, that's all done for this season. But we might have a mountain goat. So stay tuned for that. That'll be new. Very exciting. And yeah, so what? We are two days before Christmas. This is crazy, friends. Thought we would get some little bit of baking done today for our friends. Sammy requested a pecan pie, so then we offered our friends to get pies as well. I was like, if I'm going to bake one, I might as well ask if anyone else wants it because we have some pie lovers here too. And then I thought that while the pies were baking, we'll do our homemade rum nog today. Maple rum nog. So yummy. It can also be made with whiskey and maybe any other type of alcohol you desire. I don't think I would go with like gin, vodka, etc. right? You would definitely want to go with something like darker that has a lot more flavor. Okay, where did we leave off last stream? We made up our pie doughs. So this morning, I brought out all of our crusts so that they can just kind of temp up. I did this only an hour ago, and then I just stacked them two by two so that they didn't warm up too fast. And then also the one underneath is still nice and cold so that while we roll the top ones, the bottom ones will also temp up. And we'll roll these out all at once today. There is an extra pie crust. We only have to make seven. Some of my pie pans are a bit larger, so I was thinking we might just roll one of the crusts into the other seven to allow for that extra bit of room. So there's that. Here are our stack of pie pans. We bought the last four off of the shelf yesterday where we were. So here's our seven pie pans. Pretty amazing. They are nine inch as well some of them are deeper like i said so we might need to add just a touch of extra dough to it all right we have four awesome recipes linked here today as well friends i'm gonna hit that button for us the first one there is for the eggnog so we'll get into that a little bit later and then the second one is for the flaky pie crust which we did a four times batch so one recipe makes two crusts Third recipe is for the pecan pie. We put a little bit of a twist on it is we do brown butter with it instead of just regular butter in the filling. And then the apple crumble pie. This is the first time we're making this recipe today, but we've used a lot of other recipes from Sally's Baking Addiction. So I'm confident in this one too. So yeah, let's get into it. We're gonna first roll out all of our pie doughs together. So all seven, and I'll just kind of keep putting them into the fridge as we fill the pan. And then we'll make our two different types of fillings. Really nice about these pies today, we don't need a top crust. So we only need to roll the bottom crust and that is it. The apple pie gets a little bit of crumble on top. And yeah, the pecan pie doesn't get a top crust. So that's really lovely. These two types of pies are quick, right? Quick and easy. Thank you. 
Okay, so crack all 12 eggs first into here. 10, 12, I'm gonna do it this way instead. This is our row, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And let's obviously try to not break the yolk into the white when we're putting all of our eggs together. And yeah, originally this is made with a Japanese whiskey, which I don't think I've ever tried. Sounds fancy though. Anyone else ever have Japanese whiskey? Okay, there's our dozen eggs. Separate that next, I'll just put these back. Need to peek on the pies too. Oh, they are happy, happy, happy pies. Okay, now we just go fishing for the yolks and let the whites fall off. Okay, there we go. No breaks either. Perfect. And here's actually what I did with this, is I do my egg yolks in the blender and mix everything into there. And then I strictly use the stand mixer to do the whites and then the cream afterwards. And we can leave the egg whites out. They'll actually whip up better if they warm up a touch. There's that. Over to the blender bottom. Obviously start low and then go from there. And then while those are kind of whipping up, we'll weigh out the sugar and everything to add. So it's three quarter cup of granulated sugar and three quarter cup of maple syrup. And yeah, we're just looking like 100% pure is what we want. And then you can tell by the color too. The darker it is, the more maple flavor you're gonna get. Okay, we might have to scrape a little bit just off of the lid, but look at how nice that looks. It's gotten a bit thickened, but then the sugar and maple are gonna thicken it even more. Okay, and there we go. Sugar time. So equal parts white sugar and maple syrup. quarter cup the amber nectar that's got good viscosity to it maple rum nog half more oh yeah baby oh gosh we got a pie timer that's the first 20 minutes oh yeah Everything is looking really happy in there. So switch the top to the bottom, bottom to the top. Careful while you're doing this because you got molten sugary hot liquid in the middle now. Terrifying. So you can see how the ones on the top rack browned a little bit more on the crust than the ones underneath, right? So that's why we do the switcheroo. Then we'll do another 20 minutes. Then we'll take another peek. And then maybe 10 more after that but it looks like it's really happy at this temp okay so now with these added to the yolks let's go back over give this another mix up i like to mix the yolks until once again the sugar has been dissolved into it otherwise you couldn't get like a granular beverage a granular eggnog that wouldn't be good well i think we're good guys it's so fluffy and it looks fluid. Like you would be able to see the white sugar kind of floating inside of there. So we're good to keep going. Now we're gonna start adding our dairy to the mix. So one quart of milk, one quart of cream. So we're using 3.25% milk. And basically this just fits into the blender. So I basically top the rest of this up with whipping cream so that we can still mix it. <laughs> I 
And then that's the base. And then we just have to fold in the whipped whites and the whipped cream. So nice heavy cream. <laughs> there we go. Can I close this still? Just. So we're not gonna turn this on high speed at all because we don't want to blow the lid off. We're just mixing this together and then I usually just pop it in the fridge while we're finishing whipping the rest of this stuff. Splish splash. Teaspoon of vanilla. It really makes it better. We did 33% fat whipping cream. And 3.25% milk. Close that back up. First things first. All right, there we go. Okay, that's all happy. Nothing really fancy going on here. Now it just looks like kind of frothy base of an eggnog, so we're good. Let's just put this whole thing into the fridge. Make sure that our mixing bowl is very nice and clean. If there's any bit of oil or fat residue left in your mixing bowl, that can make the whites not whip up. That's why we also don't break any yolk into the egg white, because that makes it really difficult as well. Okay, away we go. This will take a few minutes and I don't recommend trying to do it by hand. That'd be a lot of work. Right now we're at foam stage, about halfway through. Okay, nice clean bowl. So I think I added a bit of spices into the eggnog mixture last year. Keep my nutmeg out and cinnamon. And we also have our allspice still, so that's good. We want all three of those. This is almost there. Should we do a quick test? Hmm. Just dig around with my spatula. Yeah, that is uh, holding its shape. I'm gonna go one more mix. We want a point. It's gonna be a bit different than a meringue style whip white. It's not gonna go out nearly as like pearly or smooth. So it's gonna stay more foamy, but we're good. Cause you can like over whip it. So yeah, if you do your little test here with your peaks, they are pointing right up. If it like did a little flop, then you're not there yet. So this, all I'm gonna do, we have our nice clean bowl. It's cool now too. We don't want it to be hot, hot. Just gonna pour this in. And now that's why we do the egg whites first so that we can literally just add the whipping cream into here. I don't see a need of washing this out. It's all going to the same place. Just we couldn't do it opposite way. So we couldn't whip the cream and then just put the egg whites in because then the whites wouldn't whip up from the fat of the cream. So that's why you do the whites first, cream after. So half a liter of cream to whip up. I'm just gonna finish off whatever was in this one. And away we go again. Still no sugar into here. Same way that we test the egg whites, we test our cream. They're sticking up. We're good. Put our cream onto the egg whites. And then we'll pour the base nog mixture in. I'll put a little bit of spices in as well before we mix. Bring it all together. Divide it between our jars first. We need three liters. And once we have this part in, I'm also gonna pour the rest of that in. <laughs> we didn't do the rum yet. Or actually, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pour half of this. And we'll put our rum in with the little bit that's left. Rum nog. 
There is eggs too, but there is more rum than eggs. Okay, quickly just over to the blender to mix that up. We're almost there. Oh, that's what I wanna do. Why don't I put the spices in while we're here? It's spice time. I'm gonna do a half, half teaspoon measurement. I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of allspice. A little bit of nutmeg too, a quarter teaspoon. And then why don't we do the same with cinnamon? We have a good balance of all the spices, but not too overwhelming, right? Okay, we don't have to mix this on too high of speed. Done. Yeah, that's right, Suzanne. Tomorrow is Christmas in Sweden. That's really cute. You get to watch me make non-Christmas food. It's really cute because, yeah, tomorrow people were cooking for they just didn't want to cook for themselves on Christmas Eve. So they asked us if we had planned on doing like a takeout. All right, so we're being gentle. We don't wanna wreck all of the aeration that we've worked so hard to achieve, but we do wanna get it like mixed in with the dairy because you can see how this is just like floating on top. Once we start kind of breaking it up, it will start to accept it. And this will last like a couple days in the fridge. Because there's raw eggs, let's not push it too many days, right? I would also be surprised if this lasts more than a couple days in the fridge. If it does, maybe you didn't make it right because this usually disappears within a day every time I've made it. So yeah, that's all I kind of keep doing is turning the bowl and gently mixing in the fluff. Okay, we're almost there. I know that the egg white looks like a little bit kind of grainy, so let's keep going until it looks really nice and like smooth. I'm good with this. You guys wanna see the jiggle? That's the very small jiggle that I leave in the pie because as it cools, it's gonna harden, right? All of those sugars, the butter and everything, it's not gonna stay syrupy like that. It's only like that because it's still hot. And yeah, usually the pie crust like tells you when the pie is done. The bottom two, I'm gonna do a couple more minutes still. Okay, whoa, we can't even move the foam. It's just all foam. Ah, no, there is some stuff under there. Okay, let's go to the bottom then. Foam nog. One more pour. Oh, missed the glass. Yes. Oh, that is good. <laughs> One more thing, hold tight. Try and blitz this up really nice and fine. And then pink or Szechuan peppercorns aren't really peppercorns, guys. They're actually like dried berries from a, a bush or a tree. So it doesn't have that peppery bite. Got like a little bit of sweetness to it. And this one adds like some tingle. So that's why I like to do just a little bit like that. All right, cheers friends. Hopefully this inspired you to make some delicious rum nog for yourself and maybe others too. And careful, don't give this to the kids, okay? Unless you want them to sleep really good, I guess.
It worked. I got the foam. And it's also good over ice. Mmm. We could have put more rum in, but you definitely taste it. And it's not too sweet tasting. Yeah, that little bit of alcohol to like kind of cleanse the palate is perfect. It makes it not too rich. And then like the rest of the base of this, almost like vanilla ice cream-esque with the touch of spice in it. <laughs> so numb. Mm. I have been waiting all year for that nog and I'm so happy. Okay. Why don't we divvy out the jars together? And then that's pretty much it, friends. I'll kind of sip on this as we do that. Great success today. That's all I can say. We did so good. Everyone's going to be really happy. Okay, friends, we did it. Did it. We got all our pies done. Seven pies. Five and a half liters of nog. We are good. We're set up. And we will be back tomorrow doing up a delish pork roast. Okay, I'm hitting that button. Thanks friends for the awesome day together. Don't usually stream on a Wednesday. So for everyone that popped in, it's great to see you. This could be happening more in the future. Other than that, thanks for all of the biddies. The subs, oh, the resubs, welcome yeah. in new followers. I hope you come check back tomorrow on the next day. Hot Carl rolling in while we're raiding. Merry Christmas and see you later as well. Thank you, my dude, for the five months together. That is an entry into the giveaway, so I'll quickly do that too. And get that into the jar before we hit that button. Yeah, Sneaky Wednesday stream. Once again, we'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific, to do a Pots and Pans redemption for the real Bonkman. And we're using the egg tomorrow too, so that is gonna be fun. We haven't used it in a few days. All right, friends, I'm gonna hit that button. Take care, stay safe wherever you are and healthy. And if you need us at all, we'll be around on Discord. I'm sorry, but I know, I love you. But yeah, we'll see you the next two days still. Okay, let's go see B-Bubs, see what he's getting up to. Love you.